Hi, my name is Rafi Maria Villa from criticologos.com. Thank you, Andy, for taking a little time to talk about your, your amazing series. I absolutely loved it, and congratulations. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. So I'm coming to you live from San Juan, Puerto Rico. So I got to ask, how did you survive our weather, our, 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 our humid weather of our, of our, lovely, of our lovely, of lovely island? <laughs> um, I, I mean, I fell in love with it. I, I, we were there from, I've been going back and forth for the past year now, but like we were, like I moved there in January and I was there January to May. Um, and the weather's great. <laughs> <laughs> you moved here? That's, 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 that's yeah. awesome. But oh. my, my whole family, uh, we, we moved down there uh, for the whole production and I, I love it. I mean, I, I miss it already. So that's that's really cool honestly um and you you're, you've been making here your whole andy cinematic universe in my book at least with Palm springs and angelique and now the resort and, and all of them had something in common is that you have a, you take all different genders and you mix them all together and you make something out of it which which gender of, of, of you know horror sci-fi romance which one do you you know clean on the most um you know, I, I'd say that, like, I think what, what allows for the genres to kind of, like, jump around like that is uh, uh, tonally, I feel like there's, there's a through line. And tonally, it's, like, always allowing us to like, uh, go from, like, the silly to the sincere. Like, mm-hmm. having, like, a, like allowing, us, uh, allowing the characters uh, to be goofy and, like, and, and go for the comedy uh, while at the same time, like, trying to hit at something deeper, uh, that I, I feel where the comedy comes from. And so I think once like that tonal line is consistent, I feel like the, the jumping of genres is uh, it's, there's a little more freedom in doing that. And I think where like, and so, to, so to answer that, like, what, what, where do I like, where am I most attracted to once, once the comedy and like the drama and, and romance is like all already baked in there's, I gotta say, there's something about like, um, I mean, Jurassic Park is my favorite movie. And then, uh, and then of the, and moving into the late nineties, like, uh, stories that take place uh, like very personal uh, stories that are like like arch- archetypical stories that take place uh, in, in a much larger backdrop of like something bigger going on like, like that Titanic is another influence on the show where it's like you have a, a love story that takes place in the middle of something much larger than them uh, uh, <laughs> uh, it's so like and the, those kind of drift those are in like this adventure kind of category i guess or adventure uh you know leaning more sci-fi for jurassic park leaning more um you know uh disaster for titanic but it's still like in that that rough world there uh to me in the resort specifically it seems that locations uh, play a big role in the story uh when you recorded in San, you shoot it here in puerto rico but you're shooting in santo, in santo domingo in dominican republic so um did what what came first did this did you were look were location scouting and then you that then you adapted the story to the locations on, or it wanted the other way around i mean always this always took place at like the first half of the show at two at, at two resorts um and then one one of those resorts is like in the past and one is in the mm-hmm. uh, like you know an abandoned resort uh and so we knew like the challenges of that where this isn't like uh, uh just we're not just going to one resort and taking over it's like we have to get a couple different resorts and so that was the first step of like that's what the story was always around that so we went scouting for for exactly that kind of thing and we found everything we needed in in, in puerto rico too so one final question. I'm going to talk about talk, working with Christine once again. Uh, did you have her in mind for the for Emma since the beginning, or did she went through the whole process for the casting? I I, I first told her about this uh, when we were filming the Palm Springs, um, mm-hmm. we were filming, like the the dinosaur campfire scene. And I was like, yeah, here's just this weird wild show that I'm I'm trying to get off the ground, and you know, if 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 some if some network ever wants us ever allows us to make it or wants to make it, then I I'm, I'm going to call you and. Fast forward to Peacock saying, "Yes, let's let's make your weird, wild show." And I called, her and we talked for a long time, and she remembered having this conversation, and and yeah, uh, and so I I was I was always hopeful that she would want to do this, and luckily she did because she's incredible. Yes, yes, and you know, again, thank you for taking a little bit of time, and congratulations on the series. I absolutely like, can't wait to see more, and I hope to see you see you down here in the island. Yes, yes, I will absolutely be coming back. So, see ya.